In a legal move that sheds light on the ugly crusade in which so-called Democrats are engaging against freedom of choice, even as they push the canard that political democracy somehow equates to self-rule and freedom of choice, Yes, in a move that also puts a contemporary technological spin on spurious rationales for censorship, well, the Rumble Corporation just brought suit against the state of California. This is a big deal. It's historically significant, and I'll give you the details in a moment. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV, and here's the story. The fight is over two recently passed California statutes that step in the way of people posting online artificially created so-called deep fakes, regardless of whether anyone claims any harm to his person or property dealt through any form of defamation or fraud from these deep fakes. This preemptive attack by the state on individuation results in a broad proscription against new forms of speech, especially satire created with the help of contemporary technology. Steve Watson reports for Modernity, quote, Video streaming site Rumble has filed a lawsuit against the state of California in response to legislation forcing social media platforms to censor political speech. Rumble is being represented by the Alliance Defending Freedom, ADF, which filed suit against AB 2655, aka, get this, the Defending Democracy from Deep Fake Deception Act of 2024 in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of California, Sacramento Division. The legislation is Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom's response to a deep fake satire video of Kamala Harris that was shared on X by Elon Musk, among others, end quote. Now, ADF also represents the satirical website, The Babylon Bee, in a related lawsuit. And there are key common law elements to these suits, as well as key lessons about the U.S. Constitution and the California Constitution. Quote, ADF stated in a press release that the law deputizes Rumble to restrict its users' free speech, while another law, AB 2839, protecting democracy against election disinformation and deep fakes, uses vague standards to punish individuals posting political content about elections. California's war against political speech is censorship, plain and simple. We can't trust the government to decide what is true in our online political debates, said ADF senior counsel Phil Sheckler, end quote. The major facets of this suit are both evident and subtle. First, the suit focuses on the position that these California statutes take in opposition to the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. But as I've noted for MRC TV, easy reference to the First Amendment reveals that this focus, which also will likely be the focus of the courts despite the historical and constitutional realities indicating otherwise, and I'll tell you about those in a second, this focus on the First Amendment actually is improper. You see, the First Amendment only specifies Congress in its prohibition against restrictions of speech. Analysts properly should turn to the California Constitution, which states in Article 1, Section 2, quote, every person may freely speak, write, and publish his or her sentiments on all subjects being responsible for the abuse of this right. A law may not restrain or abridge liberty of speech or press. End quote. And by abuse of this right, the writers of the California Constitution mean defamation, slander, and fraud, all of which are supposed to be handled on individual person-to-person -person levels if someone believes he or she has been injured by the statements of another. Common law torts allow for a person to make a claim and present this case to a jury. They don't allow 
for politicians and bureaucrats a priori before the fact to ban entire forms of speech. Adds Watson, quote, Rumble is one of the few online voices stepping up against this trend of censorship while other platforms and sites cave to totalitarian regimes censoring Americans, Sheckler further urged. He added that Rumble is standing for free speech even when it is hard. Other online platforms and media companies must see these laws for what they are, a threat to their existence, end quote. Well, here at MRC TV, it's easy to attest to how well Rumble has opened up the opportunities for free speech. As viewers of our videos often hear us mention, Rumble doesn't censor us. And wasn't censorship something the Democrats of the world decried? Quote, Chris Pavlovsky, chairman and CEO of Rumble, further urged that the very thought of the government judging the content of political speech and then deciding whether it should be permitted, censored, or eliminated altogether is about the most chilling thing you could imagine, end quote. Well said, although perhaps Gavin Newsom will try to censor that as well. And Pavlovsky added, quote, Rumble will always celebrate freedom and support creative independence, so we're delighted to work with ADF to help protect lawful online expression." End quote. Well, if Gavin Newsom and his censorious friends have problems with people creating AI-generated satires, each of those people who might have a problem can attempt to engage in traditional common law torts for damage to themselves or their property, such as a business. But these purported lovers of political democratization who try to equate freedom with what political democracy actually is, which is a big gang telling the minority what to do, well, these so-called freedom lovers don't actually like democratization in the form of freedom from government in the form of larger individual control over one's life. These pompous controllers are not liberty-minded. They're not liberal by any means. Would Newsom or others try to ban talented impressionists, people mimicking politicians to inspire laughter? And how similar is too similar here? More appropriately, one might ask, has anyone claimed damages? That's the key. If so, let the individuals involved hash it out before a jury. Don't get the government involved in threatening all of us because that itself is immoral. And if these blowhards in California want to claim that AI samples their voices to create the new phrasing, the satire, and so on, well, let them bring personal suit and of course, let them remember they're public figures who willingly ask to get into tax-funded offices. They take from us every day. They take, they sample from our lives. And of course, the chilling effect created by this pair of California statutes is remarkable. And Rumble's fight is crucial, not only for our future, but to show respect for the past and for the very important principles that the founders understood. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Find us on Rumble where they don't censor us. Of course, we're still on YouTube where, yes, they do censor us. And it's frustrating. And to double check that you're still subscribed if you are subscribed over at YouTube. We love people following us at Rumble and please share the videos far and wide. Visit us at mrctv.org, that's mrctv.org to find out what the whole team is doing. Open up a new tab, check it out. And while you're there, check out the MRC TV store. And of course, please consider donating to the Media Research Center. And if you wanna find us on Facebook, we're there. On TikTok, we're there. On Instagram, we're there. On X, we are there. And you can find me on Gab at Gardner Goldsmith and on X at Gard Goldsmith. Thanks for watching, everyone. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.